The conductivity of an aqueous ionic solution is proportional to the molar concentration of the compound dissolved. You're going to measure the conductivity of a series of known solutions of calcium chloride. You're going to graph the conductivity versus the molarity. You will determine the slope and intercept of the best straight line through, those, through that data. You will use that line to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. We're going to calibrate a CBL conductivity probe. To start out, press apps on your calculator, select ChemBio, press enter, go to setup probes, number probes, one, type of probe, select conductivity. We're going to set the switch on the, CB, on the conductivity probe to 0 to 2000. It's in channel 1. We're going to perform a new calibration. We're going to wait 30 seconds for it to warm up. Press enter. This is a two-point calibration. The first point, I'm going to remove the conductivity probe from the distilled water. The first point will be in air. We wait for the reading on the CBL to, to be stable. We press trigger on the CBL and enter a reference value of zero. We'll place the conductivity probe in the standard solution, wait till the CBL reading is stable again, press trigger on the CBL, and enter a reference value of 1,000. We will get a slope and intercept for the calibration line, and this will take us back to the main menu. You've now calibrated your conductivity probe. We're going to measure the conductivity of a number of solutions and store the conductivity values in the CBL. You want to come down and make sure your calculator and CBL are on. Come down to collect data. You're going to select trigger prompt. We'll wait 10 seconds for it to warm up. We're going to take the CBL probe and put it into a series of solutions of known concentration. The CBL will collect the conductivity data. When the reading on the CBL is stable, we're going to press trigger and enter the concentration of the solution. When the CBL reading is stable, we'll press trigger and enter the next value, the next concentration. and then we'll collect more data. Rinse the probe, put the probe in the next solution. When the reading is stable, we press trigger and enter the value in our calculator. We're going to collect more data. 
rinse the probe. Place it in our next standard solution. When the CBL reading is stable, we press trigger and enter the concentration of that solution. Select more data. Rinse the probe, place it in the next solution. When the CBL reading is stable, press trigger. Enter the concentration on the calculator. Press enter. Ask for more data. Rinse the probe. Place it in your next solution. When the reading on the CBL becomes stable, press trigger, enter the concentration on your calculator. When the CBL reading is stable, press trigger, enter the concentration. When you've entered all your values, press stop and a graph will appear on the calculator. You'll see that there is essentially a linear relationship between conductivity and molarity. You will now run a linear regression analysis on the data to get the slope and intercept of the best straight line through the data. Once you get your slope and intercept, then you're going to come back Press enter on your calculator, choose no for repeat, go to collect data, go to monitor input, wait 10 seconds for it to warm up, and place the probe in your unknown solution. Read the conductivity of the unknown solution from the calculator screen, not the CBL screen. You will use the conductivity of your unknown solution to find the molarity of your unknown solution. And this will take us back to the main menu.